Lights for Liberty organizer Lisa Lucas is a new mom of a 15 month old daughter. Cannot imagine somebody trying to take my child away from me because I'm trying to give her a better life. I cannot imagine my child sitting in a cage with a dirty diaper crying because nobody's allowed to hug her. I cannot imagine my child sitting in the cage dirty because nobody's allowed to bathe her. She says the information she gets on the border camps breaks her heart. I think a lot of people, a lot of parents especially, feel the way I feel. So you're going to see them out here tonight because they don't want to sit on the sidelines anymore. At the Lights for Liberty demonstration in Vigil, they're making a list of demands. The first one, of course, close the camps, as you can see on these halogen signs, others being abolish ICE and just the overall decriminalization of immigrants. Are you guys going to be quiet and be complicit? No. I can't hear you. Speaker Primitivo Torres has experienced the detention camps firsthand as a legal advisor to immigrants seeking asylum. When the zero tolerance first started, we were inside those camps that we are protesting right now. And let me tell you, it was devastation. Torres says when families are separated, it takes a major toll on the children. We saw it uh, in the kids, the way they act, the way they learn. Uh, and this is something that has been a psychological scar for the rest of their lives. Progressive Baptist Church pastor Walter Lanier led the vigil. But let us lift up lights in solidarity and support and memory uh, for those who are struggling and being persecuted right now. The reiterating message from all the speakers, treat others as you would treat your family and community. Immigrants aren't criminals. Right? They're coming here for a better life. Crossing the border is a misdemeanor. Jaywalking is a misdemeanor. Nobody's going to put you in a cage for jaywalking. Right? But we're treating people um, like they're less than human. And so that's what we're asking for an end to. Lights for Liberty has resources and training online for those wanting to contact their congressmen to enact legislative change. In Milwaukee, Josh Minnie, Spectrum News.